One day, the beautiful Pocahontas had a troubling dream about a spinning arrow. She went to visit her ancient friend, Grandmother Willow, to ask her advice about the dream. She asked Grandmother Willow, What is my path? Grandmother Willow told her about the spirits in the earth, water, and the sky. Listen to the spirits and they will guide you. Pocahontas climbed to the top of the tree's branches. She felt the wind blow around her and saw strange white clouds in the distance. The clouds were the sails of a ship that carried strangers to her land. That afternoon, Pocahontas spotted an adventurous man exploring the forest. For some reason, she was drawn to him. She followed him, and he turned to see who was near. Ow. John Smith and Pocahontas stared at each other for several minutes. John had never seen such a mysterious and beautiful woman. Pocahontas was scared, but John assured her he was not going to hurt her. Pocahontas did not understand his language, but rather listened with her heart. She introduced herself. I'm Pocahontas, she said as they shook hands. They began to talk, and soon they bonded in a way that both had never experienced before. John met her friend the raccoon and hummingbird. Pocahontas guided John through her forest home, showing him the gentleness of a mother bear with her cubs. They listened to gray wolves cry and watched eagles fly to the tops of the sycamore trees. John was realizing that people had a lot to learn and with Pocahontas as his teacher, he began to hear the voices in the mountains and even see colors in the wind. <laughs> Pocahontas showed him how no one owned the land. Pocahontas went back to her village and showed her friend Nakuma her new friend John Smith. Nakuma was worried, as she had been warned that settlers were dangerous. Pocahontas made Nakuma promise not to tell anyone as she left to take John to meet Grandmother Willow. Grandmother Willow advised Pocahontas that John was a good soul. Pocahontas was so very wow. happy and so was John. John left to return to his camp. When he was gone, Grandmother Willow suggested to Pocahontas that perhaps she had found her path. Back in her village, her friend Nakuma sent out a warrior to find John Smith. When Pocahontas returned to her village, the warrior had taken John prisoner. Pocahontas fell to her knees crying. Nakuma was so sorry for what she had done and told Pocahontas, I am so sorry. I thought I was doing the right thing. Pocahontas visited John in the prisoner's teepee. John told Pocahontas, I would rather die tomorrow than live a hundred years without knowing you. Pocahontas needed some help and she went to visit Grandmother Willow. As she was walking, her raccoon friend gave her a compass he had snuck from John's bag earlier. The compass's arrow was spinning around. My dream, said Pocahontas. She knew she must return to save John from the warriors. She protected him 
but he had already been wounded. Heavy-hearted, they both knew he must return home to survive. We will always be in each other's hearts, they agreed, as they shared a tender kiss goodbye. As Pocahontas watched his ship sail away, the wind touched them both once again. The end.